life changed dramatically in every area. Let's start with my finances. You know, when I when I began this journey, and it's been about seven or eight years, when I my life was one where I was borrowing from Peter to pay for PayPal. I was over fifty thousand dollars in 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 credit card debt. I had a lien on my house. Uh, didn't know what to do and suffering in silence. And I think the thing that was most frustrating was that I had followed all the rules, in my opinion. You know, I had gone to school. I would gotten, I have a college degree. I have a university degree. I worked my way through my profession. I was at the top of my game. There wasn't many places I could go. So in other words, the income that I was making, I was pretty well close to my ceiling. And what was frustrating was that I wasn't living the lifestyle I, I wanted. I wasn't making ends meet. And I didn't have an answer, so therefore I was suffering in silence. When I was willing to, actually, not once more so when I was willing to, it was when the pain got great enough in my life and the level of frustration became great enough. I was willing to do anything to change. So I was willing to step out of what I knew for the first time and try something different. And in that, I had to create my first step in my vision. And it was through that process that I was able to go from having a negative cash flow to a positive cash flow. I think more importantly was who I became in the process. I don't think that you go from being cash negative and frustrated and working to some, for someone else to being cash abundant and self-employed without stepping into a journey that transforms you. And I think the biggest gift is who, not only who I've become, but who I'm the pro in the process of becoming. The, the person who had to grow, who had to step out of her comfort zone, who had to learn so many different things. And I think it's in that journey that I found the beginning of my greatness. And what I'm inviting everyone to do is to risk stepping out of whatever comfort zone you are in, to risk going beyond whatever box you're living in. If you're not happy in that box, let's help you step outside of it. And let's help you take some actions and some steps where you're able to find your greatness so that you get to a point where you look in the mirror and you go, man, I love the person I see. I'm excited by the person I see. And the person I see inspires others.